Hi, today we're going to go over extending Microsoft System Center to support removable media security. The Microsoft System Center product that we're going to extend is Configuration Manager and specifically we're going to extend the Endpoint Protection. And you can see Microsoft has two policies and we're going to go ahead and add a third. I want to point out also underneath compliance settings that right now this is a clean install and we don't have any configuration items or configuration baselines and the reason I'm calling this out is that the removable media policy uses compliance settings so I'm going to go ahead and close the console to do the install and to do the install we're going to go to SquadraTechnologies.com and on the main menu bar products, SecRMM, and we're going to do a download. And on the download page, we're going to go to additional optional downloads, system center integration configuration manager and we want this zip file secrmm sccm install.zip okay so let me come back to the virtual machine where configuration manager is installed copy it over and we're going to extract the zip And one really important thing is to make sure you right mouse click on the DLL and unblock it. Otherwise, Configuration Manager will refuse to load it. Okay, and then once we did that, inside the zip there's really only four files that come down. One's install and the other one's uninstall. And these are the two files that Configuration Manager needs for the extension. So let's go ahead and install it. And now when we open up the console, and we come to endpoint protection, you could see we have the removable media policies. Okay, so nothing's nothing's happened yet in the compliance settings. And let's go ahead and define a removable media policy. So you can right mouse click in the white space or you can right mouse click on the, the node in the tree. And for time's sake, I've typed some of this out in Notepad. So let me grab the description And then I just chose some sample SecRMM properties that are interesting and pique your curiosity. And there's other videos that you can watch that will explain these. And we'll enforce this rule when the device is plugged in. And this briefly just says that the user can only use a device that's been assigned to him or her. And then this one says that we want to log our events to the security event log. So now that we've got our policy defined, let's go ahead and take a look underneath compliance settings just so you can see how this works. So a lot of times you have to hit F5 on the node to see so you can see what happened now underneath configuration items we have a root folder for removable media policies and so it keeps everything nice and organized if you're using compliance settings for other things which you probably should be doing so what did we just do by filling out that previous dialogue you can see we have a parent 
um, configuration item. And that uh, tells Configuration Manager whether SecRMM is installed on the system or not. And then we have our we have our properties. So let's go ahead and come to the configuration baseline and we're going to do a deployment. And the when you deploy a compliance setting policies, you're going to push them down to the client. And let me just show you quick on the client. If I come here to configuration manager, where I can see that is under the configurations tab. And you can see that we don't have anything here right now. And it's empty. So coming back to here, you could see that our policy is already listed and we want to enable remediation and we want to generate alerts if it's anything less than 100%. And let's backdate it so that it ends up going out to the machine. And now we're going to assign this to a device collection. So I made a small collection that includes the computer that I'm going to show you in the demo. And that's what we need to do to deploy it. So we're going to click OK. And now we'll bounce back over to the client workstation and we'll continue the demo on there. So if I come here, the f for demo purposes, I'm going to force the rule to get pushed down. And the way you do that is click Actions and then you click Machine Policy Retrieval and Evaluation Cycle and say Run Now. And I'll give that a second to push the policy down. What I want to show you first is inside the Computer Management Console uh, for machines where SecRMM is installed, you can see this is the exact same list that we had inside of the Configuration Manager Console. And right now, Remember, we did allowed directories, allowed serial numbers, and log security events as failures. And you could see right now those are empty. So let me minimize that. And let's come over here to configurations. And you can see that configuration manager has received the policy, but that the last evaluation and the compliance state are unknown. So they did something really cool in 2012, and I can, I can force this to evaluate. So I, I really want to show you two things, three things. Okay, we'll, we'll go ahead and click this evaluate. But we want to see right now that the SecRMM event log is empty. And we can watch what Configuration Manager does uh, to SecRMM through this event log. So, and again, I just want to point out that um, right now the properties that we specified are empty. So let's see, I have an extra computer management open here. Okay, so here we go. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to run the evaluation. And then this doesn't auto refresh, so you have to refresh it um, by clicking, clicking the refresh button. And you can see that the last evaluation now is right now, and it's it's saying that the uh, the system is compliant in terms of removable media. And you have to say really because these these were all blank, but in fact, configuration manager set the set the values, and here's the values that we specified in the configuration manager console. So one more thing I want to show you before I let you go here is if we look if we look now in the SecRMM event log, first and foremost we got a information alert saying that um, SCCM was running a compliance check, and then we got a warning saying that this property uh, needed to be remediated. In other words, the value that we specified this property to be in Configuration Manager was not the value that was on the client machine. And then here's the details. This is SecRMM telling you that uh, it actually changed the property. So it gives you 
really detailed information about what the administrator is doing. And the administrator, in our case, happens to be um, SCCM remediation. So the same thing will happen for the other two properties that we set. And so now this machine is compliant and Configuration Manager is going to take care of ensuring that the SecRMM properties that need to be set for your environment to enforce security uh, for removable media is in effect. I hope you enjoyed this demo. Thank you for your time and have a great day.